Let's talk about loading and firing the Umarex hammer. First, make sure you follow all of your basic gun safety rules. Keep your finger off the trigger and out of the trigger guard. Keep your muzzle pointed in a safe direction at all times and keep your safeties engaged. And on the Umarex hammer, be sure to keep your face and your hands away from the magazine well area, especially when it's full of air. All right, to load the magazine, first we have to get it out of the hammer. To do that, we're gonna make sure it's on safe there above the grip and back the field safety screw out until we see that red O-ring. Bring your bolt back halfway, right about in there. You'll push forward or towards the muzzle with the magazine release lever here. And as you do so, pull the magazine out from the left side. You'll see the magazine has markings on the top side of it. The arrow faces forward or towards the muzzle. You have two chambers. You'll have a left chamber and a right chamber. This is forward, this is towards you. To load the magazine, you'll take a round, 0.51 inch lead projectiles only. Don't use a sabot and don't use a jacketed bullet. And you'll place one in each chamber. Make sure that when you do, you don't have a projectile protruding out of either side of the magazine. Once you have your magazine loaded, look at it and make sure there's no debris, either in the teeth of the magazine or in the grooves. You will also want to look at the magazine well for debris. Remember, don't put your face or your hands near that magazine well. If you do see debris, stop, make everything safe, and consult your owner's manual on how to perform maintenance. Now it's time to load the magazine into the rifle. I'm going to use an empty magazine to demonstrate this. You'll see that the magazine has grooves on the bottom. You also see the aligning grooves in the magazine well. You're going to take your magazine with the front facing the muzzle, the arrow facing the muzzle, push down on the magazine floor plate and push your magazine in. You see how I pushed it down, rotated it up and inserted it all the way in. It's important to push it all the way in to properly align the chambers of the magazine with the barrel. It may take a little bit of practice, but it's real easy to get used to. Once you have your magazine in, you're ready to cock the rifle and make it ready to fire. You're going to push that bolt all the way forward. Make sure it goes all the way forward or it won't properly align the chamber with the barrel. Now you're ready to push the safety forward, squeeze the trigger, and send the first round down range. To cycle to the next shot, keep your finger off the trigger, grasp the bolt handle firmly, and pull the bolt all the way rearward, then push it all the way forward. Squeeze the trigger to send the second round. Note, it's normal to feel air escape from the vents on either side of the rifle. When filled to capacity, your hammer should get three full power shots and a fourth shot at nearly 90%. For the best results, you want to fill your hammer, hammer all the way to 4,500 PSI. And you want to note that after five consecutive shots, when you filled the 4,500 PSI, the gun is engineered to automatically degas itself. And what that means is, when you fired five shots after you filled the 4,500 PSI, as soon as that projectile leaves the barrel, air will continue to escape out of the muzzle. So it's best to fill your rifle after that third shot, or even sooner if you possibly can. So remember to engage your brain when you handle any gun. Read and understand the owner's manual. And be sure to watch all the videos in the Learning the Hammer video series. Join us on social media, subscribe to our newsletter, and you can find those links to all those places in the description of this video.